Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing okay. So bear with me because I do have a new setup at my desk. Um, so it's going to take a bit for me to make sure I'm in frame and the lights are right and all that. I'll just put my lamp down a bit because it's blinding me. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, so I have an envelope for a project that I'm doing at the moment. And I want to napkin it a bit, I reckon. And I have some of these peach cards as well. And I might whack a bit of napkin onto these. So I have some PVA that I've watered down here. I haven't really mixed it yet though. So I better do that. And I've got my paintbrush and I think we'll use this for this project. Let's see how it goes. So I hope you're not going too stir crazy yet. All right, so I have this beautiful napkin. It's peachy as well. I'm not sure if, I think this was one that someone gifted me, so, but I love the pictures on it. So thinking of adding a few of those to this envelope. Now it looks like it's the same picture on all four corners, which is good. Because then I don't have so much to decide between. Now, I'm just going to see about getting these layers off. Just grab my sticky tape. So, yes, I found some of this. Um, I used to see everyone with these wood grain desks. I thought everyone's buying the same desk. What's so good about them? <laughs> Never realised it was vinyl or whatever. This is book cover. Um, that I found at Kmart and I thought what a brilliant idea um, you know you can basically put paint and stuff all over it and it doesn't really matter so and I, because I have a white desk I thought it sort of makes sense to protect it a bit so I grabbed some of that and then I bought myself an iPad just recently so um, it saves me bumping my tripod all the time so I just got to get used to it. It took me forever to figure out how to get things off of it onto my computer and, you know, all the usual technical difficulties. So I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. It's beautiful here today, although I got up a bit late to enjoy very much of it. Um, but yeah, it's been quite warm, about 23 or something today, I reckon. Nice and sunny, but we're meant to be in for some shocking weather in the next few days. Now, I do like the butterfly and where it says lavender there. So what I might do is grab my water pen. Grab the one that's got a bit of water in it. It'll probably be helpful. And we might just go around this and see if we can tear that. Now yeah, I've got some straight edges there, so I should probably try and tear them off a bit as well. I uh, apologise for the noise in the background. I've got one window open and there's a cricket out there who is screaming. I find it very annoying. I usually have to put the TV on or whatever so I don't hear it so much. So I think that up there look nice. And then I do really like this, love this flower here. Why not? So I hope you have all been getting some crafting done. I have been absolutely flat out trying to finish off my projects because once I finish off my design team projects, I can get on with the challenges and that that I have in some groups. Because I sort of leave them to last, do things I have to do. I try to be good. <laughs> then it's a mad rush to finish everything at the end of the month, but that's all right. I'm always saying I like a challenge, so my fault. So 
Now I don't know if I want this. It says floral down there, so I was sort of trying to keep that, but I'm not sure I really like it, so I'll take it off. And there, we'll see how that goes. So we'll put these on. Now my brush is a bit firm from all my previous glue efforts, so I'm hoping it doesn't break the napkin. I'll just wet it with the glue a bit, get it a bit softer. Now this envelope, I got gifted this, so I did not dye it myself, so I'm not sure what's been used on it, but it is the most lovely colour. I'm not worried about wrinkles. Only big ones. Try and avoid any that are too big. Usually I do um, glue stick, but I do think a coating over the top is a good thing. However, because it's wet, it does, you know, wrinkle up the um, envelope and that, but that's all right. I'll flatten it out afterwards, making sure I'm not closing it. This one down here. See, so this must get on with a few of my personal projects as well, so I'm in a mad rush to get this done. So this, if it works out all right, will be going into my um, design team project for Lavender Blue. It's a butterfly and lace kit that I'm using this time, and it has these peachy tones. So I thought this napkin and envelope would be perfect. And because it's got the butterflies as well. out a little bit there now I've got the flap as well might put something on there because I'll probably put it over a page that way so just thinking which way I want something I'm confusing myself a look at our napkin. I've got this butterfly here which is quite nice. Actually get the one that I've already used. So yes, the TV's been really boring as usual. So I've just been relying on YouTubes. At least now the uh, work week's back here in Australia. I'll be able to catch up on my Bold and the Beautiful and um, Neighbours. <laughs> well, they're my guilty pleasures. I'd want oh, the butterfly could go just like that would be all right. And that will be nice. Yes, I saw that my friend Deborah Ricks at String and Scissors has just uh, reached her thousand subby milestone. So congratulations, Deborah! I'm very excited and happy for you. I'll link Deborah's details below if you want to go and check her out. She's very easy to listen to and very clear with her speaking and instructions, which is good. 
She does a lot of like nice short little videos too, which when you're pressed for time is um, a relief to sort of go and watch and follow along with. All right, so I think that's going to look really good. So we still want to do some more, probably some stamping in that afterwards. But of course, it's pretty wet at the moment, so we'll let it dry for a bit. So while that's drying, we might do one or two of these cards just to use up some more of my napkin. And then we'll let them all dry and finish them off. All right, so I'll put that to the side. And let's open up these. I got these from um, Facebook Marketplace a while ago. And someone was de-stashing her... Um, crafty bits and pieces and I grabbed heaps of stuff, a whole lot of scrapbook papers and there was, I don't know, a whole set of these different coloured cards and they are just your single square cards too which is really cool. So how about we do three of them just for some fun. Now thinking do I do the um because it's sort of like textured so I'm trying to remember where the camera is <laughs> there somewhere <laughs> yeah. so it's textured on one side and flatter on the other maybe I should do a bit of each so I can see how it all turns out I might do two flat one textured so I'll start with the textured one do I just do a big square like that or do I oh. Get me a water pen again. Why do I put things away? I'm trying to keep my desk clean so I put things away, but then I need them two seconds after. Might go around this flower. Maybe we'll just um some bits taken out of here first and then we can do all the um, gluing down all at once. If I had pre-thought, I could have cut all these bits out before. Oh, come on. The pre-thinking would take some effort. I'm low on that at the moment. It's like lavender, isn't it? Peach lavender. Oh, sticky. I don't mind wasting any, so let's take out this little butterfly. Although I can use little bits on other projects. And I'll take this off. without killing it too much. Might be able to use that bit. It's sticky when it's wet, isn't it? Very annoying. All right, I might get them stuck down. All right, so we'll start with the textured piece. over that side. So yes, um, last I heard South Australia, where I'm from and live, uh, has had no new cases in the last four days so far. So we'll see what today brings. So that's great news. I don't think they've rela started relaxing uh, restrictions yet, although we didn't have, I don't think we had the hardest restrictions. I think we are still allowed to go out and, you know, do things as long as we practice our social distancing. I did put an order on today for some more shopping. Now that it's all set up, might as well make the most of it. It's still good to not go out as much as 
I used to. That's looking quite nice, isn't it? I could almost leave it like that, have some writing space or something, but we will put on a little butterfly. necessarily like the dots that are all around it, but oh well. Quite like that. I think once it dries off a bit and that, we can um, find some words and that for it. It's quite pretty. So I put that one to dry and stick a big flower on this one somewhere. Use up some of this glue. Yes, so I've been a bit quiet on the YouTube front just of late. Um, as I said, trying to finish off the design team projects. I probably should have cut that down more. I don't like the way it is up there, but we might put a word or something up there. If you don't like it, just cover it. That's what I reckon. I might use it just because I don't want to waste it. And I'll cut that bottom bit off afterwards. Because of the um, coloured card stop behind you do see the whiteness but that's all right quite like that one too debating whether it needs maybe not might keep it simple and I'll do this last one we'll have to cut out some more bits for it though So what do you reckon? Maybe that big flower again, because it's beautiful. Mm, do I want the floral bit down here? Yeah, give it a go this time. So yes, I haven't been doing too much other than just the design team projects. Haven't even been organising or cleaning. The, my house is trashed. But that's all right. Might get to doing some of that while I'm waiting for my glue to dry. Cleaning's overrated anyway. down must do more with my napkins I've got so many of them I mean I've given half of them away but rather than you know giving them waiting and giving them all away I should actually use some <laughs> I must do a lot more of this sort of thing, I think. Yeah. 
leave that one like that as well. A bit of extra embellishment and word or something afterwards and it'll be quite nice. I've just seen a bit of a bubble there, so I'll just add a bit more glue to get that down. It's because there wasn't any glue under that patch, so I'll add it a bit more and the glue will go through. That's a bit better. All right, so I'll let them dry and I will be back in a minute to finish them off. So all of my napkinning is dry and I even cut a tag out of this one just to see what it looked like, which I do like, but the color is a little bit bright. Um, and this is pretty good though, I like that. So what I'm gonna do is just try with some gesso and a sponge and just put some gesso around the edges and see if I like that any better. So it's a bit of trial and error at the moment. And then I've got to try and figure out how to upload all of this from my iPad. I've been putting things from my iPad to my computer then using Windows Movie Maker and then haven't uploaded on my computer. But I want to try using iMovie on my iPad. I'm not sure whether that can do much though, so I have to learn how to use it. So I'm not sure if I can put movies together or what, or yeah, <laughs> it's all a learning curve. I just get used to one thing and then I go and change things and have to get used to something different, which is annoying. All right, so let's give this a go. I'm just gonna get a little bit on. Uh, camera, I think it's over that side. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm liking it sort of already. I just want some light. Bits of gesso around. It'll probably dry even lighter, which is good. Just grab, got some paper towel here just to blot it. Because I don't want big bits too much. And well, that's done on that nicely, I reckon. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So you can see the difference there. I'm just gonna check that I have got you right there. So you can see the difference. That's one we haven't gessoed and then that's one we have. I know what I haven't done. Put my light on. I will be back in a minute. Okay. So I will show you again now that I've got my light on. I'll just put it. So you can see the difference there. So I'll just do, I reckon I'll do these other ones. Might even do the envelope a bit. So I'll just blot it off so I don't get too, too many big bits on. So it's very patchy. That's what I sort of want. So I'm just using one of your regular dish sponges, as you can see. You probably saw me cut it. Or maybe not, because <laughs> I might not have been on camera. <laughs> I really like that. Much better. Put them aside to dry a bit. Helping the napkin blend in just a little bit too. 
bit much on that side, but oh well. Sometimes I'll just cover the whole thing a bit. for that one. Just blend it in a little bit more and let that dry. Now our MV. Actually that doesn't really need any gesso on it. So I could do a little bit though. Why not? Give it a go. It's like, ooh, doesn't need that much. <laughs> Tishy. <laughs> <laughs> some on there now, that's for sure. <laughs> I think that's near disaster, almost averted. <laughs> Oops. That's why I should not play with this sort of stuff. I make a mess at the best of times. So. <laughs> Go along the edge. Doesn't matter. It will survive. You can tell I'm no like practiced artist, that's for sure. Actually, that's quite nice. So when it dries, it's not so noticeable, so that's not too bad. All right, I'll just put that to the side and we'll, we'll pack this up before I make more of a mess with it. Now, as you can see, they did bend because of the PVA. I reckon I'll go back to using glue stick and then try PVAing over the top and see if it bends as much. And if it does, just go back to putting up with glue stick. But I can always put them under a book overnight or whatever. I did have them under something heavy before. So I do have some of my own like um, labels that I have just stamped. Go figure out where to hold things. So there you can see them there. So I'm thinking of using those. I'm thinking of using these ones. They look all right, actually. So I need something else on it too. I like the label down the bottom there. So I might just cut it a little bit more off of there. Now, that's walnut stain. We want a vintage photo. around there just a little bit. I'll put that one on. So I just had dinner with my son. A bit lazy, I had some chicken frozen in the um, fridge from when I cooked up a chook to make some stock. I froze some of the chicken breast. That was back when it was hard to get meat, so I um, thought I'd use that up in some pasta and sauce and chuck some frozen veggies in. Nice, quick and easy meal. Now my son's gone to bed. Isn't that strange? 20 years old and he's in bed at this time of the night, which is probably around 8, I think he went to bed. So, But he'll probably be up at some ridiculous hour, like 4 or something, he'll get up. I like that, that's nice. 
Now, I don't know about stamping on these. I could do with a little postmark or something like that. I might do that. And it I could have a word somewhere. Let me just grab my words. Get the right folder. That's where I've been keeping all my words at the moment. Got some that are on um, label. I printed them out on labels. I can't remember who these ones were from. I must write it down on them next time. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these ones. Follow your bliss. That one's not too bad. Choose to shine. I do. Follow your bliss. So we'll just chop that out. butterfly or something would go nice there so I might put that on afterwards when I find something that will go so I might chop this down just a little bit more and I'll think around the edges of that I don't know if I actually trust the actual sticker stuff. So I didn't want it all the way over there. I think it looks better near the middle. So I'm just gonna glue it down with the back and still on it. Not a bit much glue. butterfly or a flower or something would go quite nice there so might look for something afterwards now with this one I don't think we'll do a label but we could do a word so let's do choose joy life is beautiful let's do life is beautiful Funny, I do it on sticky stuff and I don't even use the sticky stuff. So I'm going to finish these projects off and um, try and almost finish this. Uh, the design team project for Lavender Blue. it down there. I don't really like that bit down there. So. That's looking better. This one, which I've over gessoed, but that's all right. We will use one of my 
labels. I like this one, I think. Down there is good. And we'll pick a word for that one. Keep calm and so on. Admire beauty. I like that. It's a little though. There's always something to be thankful for. Live the life you've imagined. Did I do follow your bliss? Yes, I did. Um... Maybe live the life you've imagined. What was that one? Life is beautiful. I want to make them different in case they all go in the same journal. Apologise for my quietness, but you're probably all thankful for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm always hearing people apologise for being quiet, and it's like, it's all right, take a breath, chill. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. A few quiet times, that, um, you know, are appreciated. <laughs> that will do for that one. Now, I'm going to have a quick look at what I've got. Oh, hang on, I've got... I've got ephemera everywhere, not organised too well as usual, but I don't know if any of it's suitable. So we'll have a quick look. Some of these, oh, not really. Games. Have a look in our other folder. I was thinking like butterfly or flower because that sort of goes with what we're doing. Not mushrooms, not them sticker flowers. Got them stickers which are way huge. Must start using them though. Butterfly stickers are too huge. That's a problem. Everything's too big. Some small ones there. Let's just have a quick look. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, this one's a really nice colour. Let's just have a look at the envelope. I'm not going to overdo it. And I do like that first one we found. Um, that's too 
big. That one's pretty too, but maybe those will do, I think. using these stickers so did buy some off of AliExpress I think it was oh he's gonna be upside down like that isn't he but who cares <laughs> I like the way it looks upside down <laughs> Let's look at my bone folder Those edges blend in a bit better. Oh, there we go. So that's the first one. I might just cut that bit off afterwards. It's sticking up over there, but quite like that. Oh, I know what I've got to do. I might just ink the edges too. How can I not ink the edges? Oops, <laughs> I'm having one of those days. Take some ink in, why not? Oh, that's better, now I've just got to flatten it out and it will be done. So, hold it down a bit. I've got to remember I don't have to get it too close to the camera and if I lift it up there, it just gets shadows. So, so that's that one. So we'll ink around this tag that we did. I'm debating whether I'll put a um, eyelet in it or not. I might have a bronzish one somewhere, so I'll worry about that afterwards. But for now, I do want to give it a bit of an ink. So that's our tag. Hold it in the light net. And then we've got this one, which we will run, uh, did I run it around that one? Yeah, I haven't done this one yet. Jeez, I am good today, I tell you. Yeah, something like that'll be all right. stick on for. Definitely like it with the gesso on. It has made a difference. It's wonderful stuff. Around that one, and then we're up to our envelope. put them under a heavy book for a day or something so our envelopes turned out really nice I love this bit so what I wanted to do with that is some stamping and we've got a label I'm going to use this label on there somewhere probably about there I reckon but we might do some stamping first so I've got don't want bricks don't want clocks there's the typical text and there's some music. I might actually do music and a, why does it say fairy friend's cat? So 
thought these were dictionary. Huh. They are dictionary meanings, but they must be. I never realised they were <laughs> called fairy friends cat. Fair enough. Okay, so I've got my archival ink here. So first I think we'll do a bit of um, music stamp. before I start. I think I have. Not that it really matters. Now, I might just stamp off a little bit. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. read it. Uh, friend, pet, unconditional, love, cherish, companion. I might do cherish. So that's right down the bottom. So I'll just find my... Now I know I have them here somewhere. There they are. and just do a partial stamp here and just get the cherish bit. label on about there now we'll ink around the edges of this as well around my label but oh well it happens just go along this bit try not to bend it up too much
Right. So there's that. I'm not sure if I'll add anything else. Maybe a postmark or something as well up the top. But I'll have a think about that. And then we've got these. Which I need to straighten out. I'll bend it back that way a bit. It's a bit better. <laughs> Definitely need a heavy book, I think. They've turned out quite nicely. Definitely preferring these now that I've put the gesso on and just mellowed them out a bit. They'll go a lot better um, in the journal that I'm making for them. So there are my napkin um, cards that I'll use as journaling cards or tuck spots and a tag and the beautiful envelope. So I hope you're all having fun and getting some crafting done. Take care of yourself, um, be safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.